Hello everybody and welcome back to my series where we talk about classical mythology while I crochet. Today we're going to talk about the wrath of Achilles which is the subject of the Iliad and literally the first word. These Greek and Latin epics love to give you their theme in the first word. So the reason that Achilles was so angry goes back to an expedition that the Greeks went on to a town called Chrysi. And while they were there they looted, they plundered, and they brought back some girls so Achilles ended up with a girl named Briseis and Agamemnon with a girl named Chryseis. But Chryseis, it turns out, was the daughter of a priest of Apollo named Chryses. And yes, all of these names are way too close. So Chryses comes to Agamemnon with a ship full of treasure and says, please take everything I have. I just want my daughter back. Agamemnon says no. I don't care what you give me. I like her better than my wife. I want her at my looms. I want her in my bed, and you're just going to have to deal with it. So Chryses leaves, but as he's leaving, he prays to Apollo and says, If ever I have been a faithful servant to you, please make this right. Apollo then plagues the Greeks for 10 days. Because they were suffering some casualties in this plague, Achilles raises the alarm bells and is like, should we be a little worried we've offended some god? And he calls a council. At this council, everybody looks to their seer, Calchas, and asks him who have they pissed off and how can they make it right. Calchas is too afraid to go up against Agamemnon and reveal that he's the one who pissed off Apollo. But Achilles says he'll protect him, so he says that not only do they have to give the girl back now, but they have to perform this massive sacrifice when they get back to the town of Chrysi. Agamemnon says, I don't want to do it, but if it's for the good of the army, I will. However, I want another girl in her place. Achilles then points out, we don't just have extra girls laying around. We give them out as we go. We give out all of the loot as we go. So if you just hang on for a second, we can reward you a little bit more handsomely next time we get loot. Agamemnon is not happy with this solution, and he accuses Achilles of trying to cheat him out of a prize. So he says, you know what? I'll take your girl. I'll take Briseis. And I'm not going to be the one to go perform that sacrifice. I'll send someone else to do it. Achilles then calls him shameless and points out the fact that Achilles doesn't really have a reason to be there. And he is not one of the offended parties when it comes to the abduction of Helen. So if they're just going to give him prizes and take them back, what's the point in him staying? And... Agamemnon says, go ahead and desert. I hate you. I don't care that the gods favor you. You're the worst. So Achilles gets super angry, reaches for his sword. But just then, Hera sends Athena down. And Athena tells him, please don't do this. We'll give you a reward. We like both you and Agamemnon. Just don't hurt him. Achilles takes his hand off of the sword. And then he throws one more verbal shot at Agamemnon and tells him, that he's a really bad leader because he doesn't go and fight with his troops, yet he still demands the lion's share of the loot, and then goes back to his tent. Agamemnon sends Odysseus to oversee the return of Chryseis and the sacrifice, and then he has two other guys go to Achilles' tent to fetch Briseis. Achilles lets them in, he's very cordial, but he says that he just wants them to witness this outrage. He then prays to his mom, Thetis, and asks her to cash in a favor with Zeus because he told them if they take Briseis, he's not fighting anymore, and he wants to make it really sting. So he asks his mom to ask Zeus to let the Trojans win for a little bit so that they'll really miss him out on the battlefield. She goes to Zeus, he says yes, and then Zeus and Hera get in a fight because these gods are just all over the place. So we have Apollo and Zeus on the Trojan side in this chapter at least, and then we have Hera and Athena on the Greek side, all the while playing with all of these men's high emotions as they are in wartime.